Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Libra. So what does Libra need to know at this time, Spirit? Okay, so some of you could be cleaning up your life. You could be cleaning out people, places, things that don't serve you anymore and making room for new things to come into your life. Okay, you are definitely trusting your intuition, your spirit guides, your ancestors, and you are definitely someone with a deep knowing, okay, somebody with a lot of wisdom. I'm seeing you could be spending time just introspecting or spending time just connecting with yourself. I see a Libra that's going out by themselves. Uh, they're just spending time alone. They're just kind of enjoying their own company, okay? Maybe there's something in your life you need to let go of. Something that has been a continuous cycle of disappointment. Okay? I'm getting... You're at a place in your life where spirit is pushing you to spend some time alone. Whether this could just mean... For my people that's in a relationship, this doesn't have to mean like you go break up and divorce this person. Okay? I never said to do that, Libra. But what I mean by that is you may need to spend some time just by yourself. Okay? Okay? There could be some things on your mind. You could be going through a transformation at this time, some sort of change. And it's requiring you to be by yourself. Okay, maybe this just means 30 minutes a day, just you time, like self time. Okay, I also see hostilities. You guys could be letting go of any type of resentment or anger issues you've held on to. For some of you, you've held on to this for a few years. Okay. Somebody could be 43, 30, uh, 37, 26, or 35. For some of you, what I'm seeing, Libra, is that there is some financial constraints within a family unit. You and your partner could be having financial issues. But there is a change, okay? There is a, con there is a change coming your way. Some sort of blessing is coming your way. Yeah, Spirit is saying there is a guide that's coming into your life. I'm saying guide. Not a guide, but a guide that is coming into your life. And this guide is going to be able to help this change come towards your finances, okay? For some of you, this could be a blessing when it comes to love. For some of you, you may be having financial constraints. And I'm seeing you could feel constricted when it comes to a connection. Spirit is bringing a change in the wind, okay? You're attracting somebody loyal like yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are attracting someone loyal into your life, a soulmate. But some of you are being called to get out of the house. Some of you could be spending too much time in the home. And you need to get out and mingle with people, okay? Yeah, connect with people. Some of you may need to meditate more, maybe pray a little bit more as well. Take a deep breath because things are about to work out in your favor. And you don't need to know how, you don't need to know why, you don't need to know any of that. All you need to know is that doors are opening for you, Libra. Okay? Doors are opening for you that's going to provide multiple opportunities. I'm seeing with your spirituality, with your finances, with love, with family. Okay? I feel like I'm talking to a Libra whose families always held on to hostilities when it came to them. Spirit is telling you that you are finally heading into a stage in your life where you can breathe. You can relax, okay? You have endless possibilities coming your way. Spirit is saying, you've been depressed long enough, okay? Now it's time for you to get what you want. Now it's time for people in your life that are being fake to take off the mask. Now it's time for you to be seen. Your spirit guides are bringing in these opportunities because you're deserving of them, Libra, okay? So this is what you have to look forward to coming into your life. For some of you, you could be letting go of a King of Cups, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, this could be a father figure, somebody abusive, toxic, somebody codependent. This person is emotionally abusive and they like to string you along or this is the type of person that likes to gaslight. Okay, for some of you, Libra, you could have a child with this person. You don't have to. Ooh, the car just fell behind the table. Hold on, Libra. Yeah, somebody doesn't want me to tell you something already. Let's see. Yeah, because you're moving forward. You, your guides are moving you into a new direction. For some of you, you could be getting your passport or you could be deciding to travel. You could even be booking a plane trip. 
but I'm seeing you guys are moving as far away from conflict and drama as you can move. What else? Yeah, at this time, Spirit is saying you are definitely under no illusion. You see things for what it is, okay? And now you're deciding to go in the right direction. You're deciding to trust your intuition. What is this? With the Queen of Cups in reverse, there could be this uh, toxic baby mama figure, okay? Or Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy that you're healing from at this time. Somebody that broke your heart. Somebody that was codependent and clingy on you. They like to lie and mistreat you. This person could feel stagnant and stuck. Or you're leaving this person where they're at. Okay. Yeah, four of wands. For some of you, this is somebody in your family or that you share a family with, okay? But this is definitely a toxic relationship that you're deciding to release yourself from. This has been something burdening you for too long. Something that you've been holding on to silently. Okay. There could also be somebody that could be losing their home and facing bad luck at this time. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. Somebody is being blocked by the universe. They're having a lot of obstacles by your ancestors and spirit guides for what this person did to you. Okay, somebody could also be going to court and they could be getting bad news in court for somebody. What else? Doesn't have to be you, Libra. Could be this person, though. King of Cups. Yeah. But I see you're about to be celebrating, okay? You're celebrating now that you have healed from something, that you've moved forward. A lot of you could be getting together with friends, going out for drinks, so you could just be hanging with good people at this time. For some of you, you could be eating fruit or you could need to eat more fruit. Some of you could drink coffee. But yeah, like you guys are definitely, you're you're in this energy where you're, you've healed from something and now you're going into a state of your life where you're going to be celebrating, okay? I just heard you're going to be celebrated. Yeah, you're going to be celebrated. There could have been a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, somebody that was gossiping about you, a karmic energy. Yeah, this person is stagnant and stuck. They're stuck where they are. This person is very dishonest. Okay. Spirit is saying for you to invest in yourself. Now that you abandon a situation, you are investing in yourself. You're also moving on from something that was really emotionally heavy for you. For some of you, this could have been a trauma, grief, or some sort of pain that you had to hold on to for so long. You're finally letting this go. Okay, you're finally making your way. You're finally deciding to release this burden that you've been carrying. You're not, you're not living under any illusions anymore, okay? Yeah. All right, so you definitely could be investing in yourself. Some of you could be spending money on crystals, or you could um, need to connect with rose quartz. I heard kyanite, amethyst, okay, the color purple could be of significance, but yeah, you guys are definitely spending time working on your independence, work, working on your wealth, trying to establish yourself financially, trying to establish yourself spiritually. You're investing in yourself. You're letting go of all this weight you've been carrying for so long, okay? For some of you, you could have healed from a fear of abandonment wound. There could have been an abandonment wound that you really needed to heal from. And I'm seeing that you did a lot of work healing this wound. For some of you, this came from your father or your mother. Yeah, but Spirit is saying that now that you've done that, you're moving forward. You're going to have new opportunities, new success coming into your life. And whatever this is with you, this opportunity that didn't work out, Spirit is saying this is for your better, like this is for your protection. Okay, something is a missed opportunity because something is connected to some sort of devil energy. There could be somebody in your energy where it didn't work out with this person, Libra, because this person has addictions that you don't know about. They could be materialistic. Uh, this is somebody that likes to play a lot of games. They're childish. They're stuck in their ego. Yeah, now this person feels like they're stuck. They're stuck with this devil energy. Or somebody could be stuck with a third party that they chose over you. Capricorn energy, okay? 
Yeah, Spirit is saying that you need to use your head when it comes to this person, okay? They talk a good game, but Spirit is telling you that somebody's somebody's facing homeless, like this person is homeless or facing poverty. They could also be sick or trying to do some sort of scandal, okay? Spirit is telling you to block this person. Yeah, this person is bored where they are, but that's okay because you're being your true self. You're focused on you at this time. You have clarity. You have the truth about something, and you're moving forward. You've healed. Yeah, for some of you, there's a Knight of Pentacles coming into your life. Somebody who's going to be patient with you. Somebody that's going to protect you. Okay. And you're letting go of somebody who overwhelmed you. Or this person could be overwhelmed with their finances. And you're moving on to being happy. Celebrating. Positivity. Okay. That's good, Libra. Yeah, you guys are the queen of swords. You're very honest, very intelligent, and you're protected. Spirit is protecting you. So if something didn't work out, it's so something better can transpire, okay? There's a transformation that took place for your healing, for your better good. Yeah, some of you are making important decisions about your future. You could be planning something in your future. You could be uh, planning to travel or a trip. I'm seeing across the country but you might have to take your time okay you may be impatient right now but this is going to happen spirit is saying just to continue to save your money keep investing and in saving at this time yeah try not to do anything that goes against your higher self at this time libra there may be some miscommunications or confusion in the air but spirit is saying for you to focus focus on you focus on your independence okay let's see what else we have for you did i get one from the nine of pentacles i don't even think i broke these down did i libra let's see let's break a few of these down okay so what is the six of swords what's the six of swords can i get a card yeah, this you're moving on from a heartbreaker. Somebody that was moody. They could have played with your emotions. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah, you're moving away. You're not living under any illusion no more with this person that you've separated from, that you share a family with. For some of you, this could be a Pisces. What's the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups out here says that Somebody was gullible and now this person's trying to hold back. They're reckless and you have to move forward now. You can't keep dealing with this. Yeah, this person is blocking your creativity and this is a missed opportunity. Like I said, two of wands in reverse. If you if your money was stuck, I'm saying now that your, your money is doing better. It's recovering, okay? Now that you block somebody or cut something out that was keeping you stuck. Your money's about to do, uh, be doing better. Four of Wands, Spirit. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Spirit is saying that for some of you, you may need to take a break from your toxic family. Or your toxic friendships. Or you may need to take a break, toxic job, and just kind of rest. Recuperate, heal, okay? And then after you heal, I see you making a decision... And being honest with yourself and deciding to cut people off and let things go that are too much on you. What else? Just know that your decisions are protected. You're protected. Okay? I'm seeing you're learning how to say no to people. People who you know are not going anywhere or changing their circumstances. You're dropping these people. Yeah, you're not... You're, you know they want to reconcile these abusive, impulsive, nasty people. They want to they wanna reconcile with you. For some of you, you're not reconciling with this person. Yeah. This person kept you in a third party because they didn't want to... They lost their way and they didn't want to do any introspection, okay? But this caused you to step into your power, to be brave. And this person ended up instantly going into playing victim. This person has a lot of arguments, a lot of chaos. They want you to p compete over their love, okay? Okay. But a lot of you broke up with this person. 
Yeah, and this person is stuck in the past, okay? This person is cold and mature and stuck in the past. Mm. That's sad. Looks like you got new things coming, new new, new times coming for you, Libra. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Now that you've moved forward, new doors are opening, like I said before. New options. Look at this. Balance coming in. Working together with somebody that's going to bring happiness after investing into yourself. You guys can meet your new lover at work for some of you while you're working on yourself, while you're investing in yourself. And this is your karmic justice. Yeah. Spirit is recognizing you for who you are. For some of you, you're being recognized for who you are. You're seen in the public eye. You could have a platform or you could be celebrating some sort of success. Okay, make sure you open your heart for something because something's coming. But it's waiting for you to make a decision on what you're going to do. Are you going to stay in the past or are you going to move forward? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, what does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know? There's a proposal coming in here. Somebody sees you for who you are. And now this person wants to come and propose to you. Your romance is about to evolve and level up. For some of you, you could be getting you could be getting married, you could be getting proposed to, or you could be meeting that special person, Libra. Yeah, somebody's coming to propose. Benefit of the doubt. This person might want the benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance, Spirit is saying. You might have doubt about this person, but this person, Spirit is saying, give them a chance. Yeah, some of you may meet this person at work and you could feel like it's a psychic connection that you share with this person. You could even feel very attracted to this person, but I'm getting this new person isn't going to look like this past person. So at first, you might be thrown off because it's somebody you could work with. But after a while, it's not going to be just about physical. This is going to be a connection that is deep. Yeah, this person is going to want to spend time with you. This person is going to take you out, travel with you. Okay, this is going to be a healing connection for you, Libra. Yes, this is the balance. I'm so happy to see this for you. <sighs> Libra. Okay, so what else can you tell me about this new person for Libra? What else can you tell me about this new person for Libra? What else about this new person for Libra spirit? Okay. This person is going to bring you happiness. For some of you, you could get pregnant and it'll end up having a son by this person. Leo energy. This person could be a Leo or a Gemini or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, but this person is going to bring a lot of positivity into your life, okay? This person is going to be there as you heal from your trauma, as you overcome your depression, as you forgive yourself, and as you let go and heal your heart. This person is going to be here through all of that. What else for Libra? Yes, this is somebody that's coming along as you love yourself, self-love. Okay, this is a new love that you're going to be able to create with. Somebody that's going to bring a lot of fulfillment into you, to your life. Okay. Is there anything else for the people that want to know about the past person spirit? Yeah, this person is stagnant and stuck ever since you walked away. But like I said, this person is spiteful. They're bitter. They're being very selfish right now. Because of court, somebody could be going to court and you're getting karmic justice. And they recognize you're getting the upper hand. So somebody's upset. They could be stuck in a connection where they're not happy. But guess what? You've walked away. They didn't think you really would walk away, but you did. Yeah, Queen of Cups. This person is very unhappy. All right. Well, I'm glad you're moving on to the love that will take care of you and provide for you healing and love and protection. Okay, you are very deserving of this kind of love, Libra. Let's see what else you need to know. What's the advice for Libra this week? Okay, so Spirit is saying live in a constant state of gratitude. You guys need to be grateful. Continue to show that gratitude. Some of you could have a dog. Your dog could bring you a lot of happiness. Some of you may want to be around water. You may need to do a spiritual bath. Okay. Maybe you want to sit under the stars. But I'm seeing that you guys are definitely being told to show gratitude. Definitely show gratitude. For some of you, you're healing. You're meant to write a book about what you've been through. Yeah, you're meant to be honest about something you've been through.
the world. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to be seen globally, Libra. You did it. Now do something to celebrate a job well done. Okay, you've made it through some sort of test. You've healed from this major heartbreak that you've experienced. And now you have graduated to the teacher. Okay, you're meant to inspire people around the world globally with something that you do. Your decisions will decide your future. Okay, so some decisions you could be making could des decide your future. You're making decisions for your future, which are going to be good decisions when it comes to investing in yourself. Yes. Seven of Wands. You're holding people accountable. Okay? Some of you could be overthinking something that you're meant to say or do. And Spirit is saying to just do it. Don't overthink it. Okay? Don't overthink it. Change your perspective. The worst is over. Okay? The right people are coming into your life. Teamwork. Somebody you can work together with. Okay? You can be a team with. Yeah, Spirit is saying to put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or the other. We have the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are getting the Ten, uh, ten of Pentacles. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. You're on the, the road to definitely receive what you've been working so hard to receive. Keep it up. A lot of blessings, abundance coming for you this week. A lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Okay, even if it doesn't come right away, it's coming. Because I can see it, okay? All right, Libra, so that has been your weekly reading. I hope it did resonate. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you can, donate to the channel. That does help. And I do appreciate you all. I will talk to you later, Libra. Bye.